acres of space. Hi guys, I'm good to, good to be here and wonderful to welcome the class of 2019. The Emerging Creatives is probably one of the things that we are most proud of. Over the years, we've just had an absolute galaxy of stars who've come through the program since about 2005 and people who really use the platform as an incubator, as an accelerator, and as a way to turbocharge your career. From Mandela Delvane, that now sells his pieces at tens of thousands of dollars through the Fredman Bender Gallery in New York, to news this morning that one of our emerging creatives, Tebe Magugu, has just been made a semi-finalist for the LVMH Awards, to Ladumas, whose work is there as part of a collaboration with IKEA, to a whole host of emerging creatives who've all gone on to pretty amazing careers. Design in Daba comes from a wonderful place. It comes from a place of love. We certainly feel it's our love offering to the South African creative community. More people will have a free experience of Design in Daba than the other highly sought after conference. We're really excited about what's going to happen out here and we want this to be seriously animated over the next few days. Some years ago we did an expo. That expo was right for the times. That expo was when there was no design on the high street. There wasn't a Bree Street phenomenon. There wasn't the watershed. There wasn't uh, the Woodstock uh, enclave. But now with design well represented on the high street we started to kind of think, well, what else should we be doing? And so we euthanized a rather successful platform to be able to start to explore new ways of doing things. One of the things that we're really excited about is investing in projects. We've got this kind of notion about design in Daba that we're a think tank and a do tank. And so lots of the projects that start off at the conference or amongst the emerging creatives are actually converted into real life projects that leaves the space and settles in community. Perhaps the most successful one in the last year has been the Arch for Arch, a celebration of the life of Archbishop Tutu that sits on the oldest avenue in Cape Town and is at once a celebration of our democracy. It's made with 14 arcs of wood because there's 14 chapters in our constitution and 14 lines in the preamble. So we're, we're trying to find wonderful examples in a rather gonzo kind of way immersing ourselves with you working with you collaborating with you in order to be able to go beyond showcasing a conference and showcasing exhibitions but helping to actually fund some work exhibit a is here to your right i mean with the world's biggest furniture store no less and this stunning stunning uh, collection that will be formally announced tomorrow and i mean that's going to be seen in every furniture store globally. It's historic. It's the first time that African de designers have worked with IKEA. And a middling product in that collection will sell 2 million units. And it's a scale that we have never fathomed before or have ever had to work with. And it's been the most amazing steep learning curve. And for all the designers that worked on it, it's been the most amazing ride but it's also a bit of a coming out party for African design. And it's going to be really, really wonderful to have homes from San Francisco to Sao Paulo and Tokyo to Sydney all having a bit of Africa in them. And a significant part about managing that entire relationship as well was that a fair whack of the stuff was actually made here so that the economic impact has a long tail way beyond us appreciating it here over the next three days. So I just want to say to the emerging creatives that we, when we commit to emerging creatives, it's not for the year. And, you know, Laduma was there in 2011 as an emerging creative. He's here with us in 2019 as part of this collection. So when you come into this family, you'll find that we find wonderful ways so that we could collaborate in the future. We're fiercely proud of you. We're even doing stuff with you now, Crystal, for example. So you're exhibiting with us a previous emerging creative. And so many of our emerging creatives, uh, you know, we really commit to going on this journey with us. We've been on this journey for 24 years. We're going to be here for many, many more years hence. I'm really looking forward to designing Daba 2045. I wish you could all join me there. So I want to say congratulations to the emerging creatives class of 2019. 40 of you. There are 10 more in a diffusion program up in Johannesburg. 
bringing us a total class of 50. And I think the fact that you've really been elevated this year to being the centerpiece of what we're doing out here in the piazza speaks to the stature in which we hold you. And all of this is made possible through perhaps one of the most progressive partnerships we have with government, which has been amazing, long-standing, since 2005, and it's with the Department of Arts and Culture. They're represented here. If you could just please stand up. There's Lisa Combrink and Masana Chikeka. Masana has been fabulous. She's probably walked this journey every step of the way for the last 15 years as well. Thank you so much. And with that, I'm going to hand you back to the Master of Ceremonies, Bushle, who's got to go through with the program and do the formality of inducting you into the Emerging Creatives class of 2019. Congratulations.